the good of Witcher 1. Um, now, assume... Uh, we'll, we'll assume... Uh, we'll, we'll do the review for right now. Not for when it was released, but... As it stands up right now, if you wanted to go buy this game, as it rates compared to uh, today's games. So, the good. The story is amazing. Uh, the lore of the world and the world construction is amazing. Um, the characters are great. Um, almost all of the characters that you talk to are very fleshed out and add to the world and the surroundings. Um, I'm going to put combat in both good and bad. Uh, combat is, at times, amazingly fluid and the potential and the ideas for it are great. Um, that's the good part of combat. Uh, keeps you on your toes. Um, the good is, even though it is very dated, I think it does hold up reasonably well. Not great, not great, not even good, but reasonably well. Um, the bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's old. The graphics are dated. Combat, when it doesn't work the way intended, gets kind of janky. There are still bugs. Even in the enhanced Uber edition, there are still bugs and crashes, and it does get aggravating. Um, they copy pasta a lot of NPCs, um, which is all understandable given that it was used on uh, the Aurora engine, which was old when they used it. Um, oh, and for the good, I like the voice acting. Somebody didn't like the voice acting. I can understand where they're coming from. I personally think the voice acting was very good. Um, so, voice acting, love it or hate it, that's up to you. So, that's Witcher 1. Yay, Witcher 1! Woo! So, game...